Hey everybody, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. We're checking out the community modded Bonanza G36. Uh, it's got some tweaks. Um, there's a list of them. We can check them out in Cruise on what they updated, but it's pretty comprehensive. The default one is totally broken. Uh, this also has the um, working title G1000 mod. It takes forever to twist the little knobs, so we're going to not really rely on that a whole lot on this flight and just take a look at how the, um, the Bonanza handles and and flies a little bit. So that'll be pretty interesting. We're at John Wayne, which has also been updated. We now have a somewhat realistic tower, which is definitely nice. That makes my brain happy. Uh, the other side is still pretty default looking, um, but not too bad. And then on this side, we just have a lot more parking options where before there was no parking on this side. So overall, not much here, but it's updated enough to make it uh, notable uh, update. So, John Wayne Clarence, good evening. Bonanza 204 Lima Echo. Information Whiskey. We'd like flight following to Camarillo 4500 via the special flight rules. Number 204 Lima Echo, John Wayne Clarence. I'm sorry, I just missed your type. Say again, your type. We're at Bravo Echo 36 Slant Gulf. Uh, Bonanza 204 Lima Echo. Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, on departure, heading 220, maintain VFR at below 2400, departure frequency 128.1, squawk 1730. 1730. On departure, that's right, heading 220, out of below 2400, departure frequencies on 281, squawking 1730, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, we have whiskey parked at Baker Street. Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, thanks, and read back is correct, and uh, call ground for taxi. You need the Bravo run up first? Uh, ground for taxi, yes, we'll uh, take the tower run up, uh, 204 Lima Echo. Thank you. Uh, it would be awesome if GPV could get on some updates. That would be beautiful. Okay, 20.8 is our ground Long frequency. Long Beach ground is a 6233 Golf, south ramp, taxi Zulu. Uh, there we go, 20.8, make sure that that connected in there good. Nope, it's 20.85, so we got a little Long Beach ground, runway 26 left. Taxi via Fox and then 26.8. One to two six left via Fox Delta 6232 Golf. Ready to go there. Okay. One coming here on Sky at Niner 6621. Uh, IFR to Brownfield. This is. It's still, even though it doesn't look exactly like it and it's not the same livery, it's just amazing, you know, when the, even some of the sights and sounds are similar to real life. I love, I love that feel of, man, this is the same airframe, this is the same parking spot, you know, same airport, same frequencies. It's a, it's super cool. I love that feeling. Clear to it feels like we're zero. doing this for real, which is obviously some of some of the point of, of particularly pilot edge. But um, yeah, it's this is this never gets old to me, man. I love it. Six two one, read back, correct. Six two one is from Bravo. Skyhawk nine six six two one, runway two eight right, taxi via Hotel Alpha. Right, right, BL Hotel Alpha, 6 to 1. John McGround, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, Information Whiskey at Baker Street Taxi Tower Run Up. Ready for departure, then we were in danger of departure. Blocked. Walker 425, Santa Barbara Tower, runway 25, clear for takeoff. 25, clear for takeoff, Walker 425. Blocked. Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, John Wayne Ground, taxi to the Tower Run Up via Bravo. Tower Run Up via Bravo, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo. Ribbing Tower Stock 329G, Charlie Holdings. Right, Charlie, right one, one, clear, let's move out. Sky 9, uh, Tree Tree 9, Julia, Charlie, Burbank Tower, on a 1 5 cliff table. <laughs> uh, Tyler, you've, one, five, three, two, nine, you've flown out here, right? I'm pretty sure you have, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you gotta fly over here and shut her down. At ACI. That's a fun one. 
I am a little concerned about how the frame rates are going to be. Uh, you know, the the last update did have some uh, performance increases to it, but you never really know. Um, yeah, no, it's it is definitely. That's what I was just saying, Phil. Is that the the frames are. Um, I'm concerned that they're just going to be lagging. Um, yeah, there's some weird. Welcome 425, right of contact. Weird right. frame rate thing with the prop there, Welcome and I don't. Five, currently at one five. I think it was kind of like a combination of the prop RPM, and also frame rate. Welcome 425, contact Santa Barbara. Approach one two zero point five five. One two zero point five five Santa Barbara approach. Welcome 425. Two zero right. So here is the run-up area. So this guy's actually Jet not in the run-up. Delivery Baron two five um, one zero Mike but, request IFR yeah, to Burbank okay. for the cat three. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Uh, we'll, we'll check. Control check. Looks good. Looks good, and we'll see if we can see the elevator. It looks good. Uh, okay, let's get the mixture going full rich. Victorville Tower Diamond 360, Joe Tango, hold short of 3-5. Barely a drop, but a little bit. Baron 251, Sierra Mike, John, we clear, it's clear to Burbank Air Force. 10 RPM. Oh my god. Okay, everything looks good. Oh, you know, I forgot I had to... Yeah, the, the frame rate on the um, G1000 is pretty low. On departure fly, heading of 220, Vector Seal Beach, then the... Uh, okay, prop RPM seems to work. One, um, Tech route, uh, maintain 2000. Expect 4000 10 minutes after departure frequency okay. 128.1, squawk 5364, 251 Sierra Mike. Baron 1 Sierra Mike, we back correct. Sky 339 at Julia Charlie, radar contact, okay. proceed southeast bound when able to verify cool. altitude. Proceed southeast bound, uh, 1860 on the altitude, 339 Julia Charlie. Diamond Star 323, Julia Tango, Victorville Tower, when we 35 clear for takeoff. 35 clear for takeoff. Huh? Number 339 at Julie Charlie, contact SoCal approach. Kind of like that. Over SoCal approach, 339 Rocking back and forth. Doesn't do that really as much, but it does move around, and that's pretty rad. Johnny Ground, Bonanza 204 Lima Echo, continue. Bonanza 204 Lima Echo, runway 20 right, taxi via Bravo Kilo. Bravo Kilo 20 right, Bonanza 204 Lima Echo. One camera tower, Skyhack, 9R6621. Right. Short of right, ready for departure, IFR. Skyhack, 96621, one check. Tower, right, two, eight, Pretty right, much everything. Right, right, At least uh, as far as the simulator is concerned, without a checklist. Clear to the left. This is such a great route, which is why even if Camarillo is takeout only, I'm still considering doing it uh just bringing like a couple of lawn chairs honestly and just sitting by the ramp in camarillo would be really fun quasar 27 month streak dude that it wow quasar cheers to that 27 um thank you for the support happy tuesday but this is such a cool route to fly let alone you know, being met with one of the best airport restaurants oh, in the country. Oh, um, but just flying over LAX and LA and along the coast is is really, really pretty fun. Uh, Dino Chicken Nuggies, welcome aboard. Thank you for for following. Happy Tuesday. And let's keep our fingers crossed for. Um, something that resembles motion picture rather than slideshow in terms of frame rate. I'm working on an interim GPU while I wait for a 30 series card. I appreciate the contact. Joshua Departure, 363 Tango, take it. 
one. Twenty-eight-one is in there. Okay. I kind of hope we have some new people to the special flight rules because this will be this will be fun. Uh, okay, so two two zero is in there. Did I? S I didn't set an altitude because I actually assumed that it was broken, <laughs> but but it is not. <clears throat> or at least it shouldn't it shouldn't be now. So there's two four zero. That's our our limit. <clears throat> just kind of assumed that that was gonna not work but my assumption would have been wrong John Wayne Tower Bonanza 204 Lima Echo holding short 20 right at Kilo Bonanza 204 Lima Echo John Wayne Tower good evening hold short runway 20 right at Kilo just verify you have your transponder set 1730 uh, we'll get that fixed Bonanza 4 Lima Echo sorry I always forget in this plane, or like in a G1000, because it is not in front of me like it is in the other planes, and not having a checklist to to basically confirm that. I forget. Knob twisting simulator 2020. Does look nice though. Thanks. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Jawin Tower, Bonanza 204, Liam Echo, squawking 1730. Bonanza 204, Liam Echo, Jawin Tower, thanks. Runway 20 right at Kilo, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, 20 right at Kilo, Bonanza 204, Liam Echo. Lights, camera, which we fixed that, and action. All right. And John Wayne, uh, Air Tower, 35 double mic with you on the yeah. Two zero right. Approaching runway two zero right. Cessna three five double Entered mic, John runway Wayne Tower, two zero. Approach prior to arrival, runway two zero right, clear to land. Go ahead, three five double. Caution wake turbulence for Bonanza departing. All right, advance the power. Check all the engines. Make sure that everything stays in the green. Looks good. Let's go full power. Uh, not a ton of right rudder needed. Airspeed's alive. There is 70. It should start flying now. Is coming up. Prop is coming back. That looks pretty cool. We left that turn a little bit late because I was looking outside. It's okay. Yeah, the frame rate on the G1000 is really low, which is totally fine as long as the rest of the sim performs better. Climbing through 500, Bonanza Forley Maco. 500. Bonanza Forley Maco, contact SoCal departure. See you later. Going to SoCal departure, Bonanza 204 Forley Maco. We'll see you later. So climb out speed actually seems okay. SoCal departure Bonanza 204 Lima Echo 1000 restricted 2400. Hi Bill. <laughs> Hi Goldsey. 204 Lima Echo SoCal approach John Wayne altimeter 3001. Uh, 01 Bonanza 4 Lima Echo. Well the turbo, not knowing anything about that turbo mod, it probably isn't going to be noticeable as much down low. Up high is where it's going to be um, more noticeable, would be my guess. Um, yeah, you can change the display settings. I'm just, like, I'm fine with it being where it is. I'm just commenting how low it is and hoping that um, despite it, or hopefully that it's, the rest of the sim performs uh, better as well. For Lemeco, what's your plan for the Bravo transition? We're going to be special flight rules 4,500 northbound, uh, Bonanza for Lemeco. For Lemeco, Roger, cancel altitude restrictions and one navigation. O nav and altitudes, Bonanza 204 Lemeco. Okay, up 
to 4,500. Well, why don't you, Julia, um, type in there? Okay, Julia wanted to um, share with you guys. You can just type in there. Um, I think it's exclamation point fit, right? We'll try it out. Exclamation point fit. Yep, that's yeah, I did it. Okay, so she, Julia, is uh, a personal trainer, and actually a few, um, a good number of guys from the Discord are um, doing a program that she started for December. Um, that's wrong? The ongoing one. Yeah, they're doing the ongoing, um, it's like, it's basically a monthly, like, Julia is your personal okay, trainer. It's six, two, three, like a monthly three, gym membership, climbing, essentially. Um, but she has a, a discount code two, three, for that. Three, golf. So you can just type right it down. Six, two, three, three, golf. Well, you don't have to say all that. Like I'm, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, hello, I am. Tango, one able, proceed direct to Apple, clear view RD, me remove one step number two. Uh, okay. Yeah. So this is the this is the discount code. You can just type, yeah, type that in there. So the link, and just check it out. It's kind of cool. If you if if any of you guys are in, um, you know, are, are gym goers or have had personal trainers in the past, uh, it's obviously very difficult to um, go to a gym or have a personal trainer with the with the vid right now. So this is all on an app. And it's online, and uh, it's actually pretty cool. Great. And I can be as individualized as you want, but she wanted me to pass that on um, to you guys. But you can join the Discord if you're not in there already. And um, she's got her own little server in there. Sorry, I'm like trying to set up this GPS and talk at the same time here. Uh, let's get some. Prop back, mixture back. Um, but I'm. Th this is not a. I, I hope you don't take this as like a humble brag or anything. But I, I'm an ex collegiate athlete. I played basketball in college, Julia, Raider, sir, um, and she kicks my ass. So it is. It's pretty good. Um, yep, yeah, Julia's gym. Yeah. So check it out. Check it out if you're if you're looking for a a way to uh, to work out in these crazy times. So thank you, Julia. Sorry, repeat that. Just saying, November Delta. Yeah, Joshua approach one two four point five five. All right. So right away, we're already going very slow in this scenario. It's better, but it's still pretty slow. Um, BF, what is it? 4LE50BF? Yep, there's your there's your code. <laughs> Consultations are free. Unicom action here. Uh, okay, so this is, and I actually did this reverse sensing. Which, yeah, that's fine actually. That's just the nav. That's that. That'll be fine. So as soon as we're we're lined up on on our radio right here, I'll I'll make the turn towards. Um, Make the turn towards Santa Monica and let go of SoCal. Three three golf turn right heading two zero zero. Right two zero zero six two three three golf. I'm trying to get the the prop RPM to not look so goofy. It looks a little bit better. Um, so we're going about ten to fifteen knots slower than we 
I think should. What's our fuel flow? Number nine six six two one connect Brown Tower one two eight point two five. Let's see. There's quantity sixteen. Three three golf enable clear exit Driffy. Direct Driffy six two three three golf. Did you go off cross Driffy at 2000, clear on Avro H, so not a red approach. Cross Driffy uh, 2000, cleared uh, RNAV 29 right approach. Yeah, it's not too bad. I, I still think it's a little bit on the slow side, but. Um, so, Alpha Partner 251 Sierra Mike. Oh, nice, Greg. Uh, uh, She's actually, like, obviously Delta is a girl herself, a female. Up to 4000. Uh, but she, so she started, like, a lot of her. Um, her training was with females, but it's actually turned out that she's been training a lot more males, and she's actually really good at it. And I think it, I think it helps that obviously she has me to be her guinea pig. Oh yeah, the Bonanza was really bad. Yeah, this is this is way better. I'll take 156 all day. Um, this this is not this is not bad at all. This is just being being nitpicky and it's probably some I mean I'm trying to play with the props a little bit just to see what kind of um, effect it has but that is that's really good oh cow flaps that should actually help um, part of that update was cow flaps three to four knots in cruise so that is, that's really nice. That is really nice. Okay, let's, uh, let's be set free here. SoCal Approach, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo. We'd like to cancel flight following for the special flight rolls. 204, Lima Echo, radar service terminated. It's block 1201 for this change. Frequency change approved, squawking 1201, uh, Bonanza 204, Lee Mago. See you. 342 at the other side if you're looking for radar services. All right, 342 on the other side, that helps. Thank you, for Lee Mago. That's actually really helpful <laughs> because that is a pain in the butt doing this in the real life, is trying to find. Um, the frequency on the other oh go away on the other side <laughs> i did goldsy <laughs> you're welcome you are welcome special flight rules traffic bonanza 204 lima echo 4500 northbound uh, per, uh beam torrents special flight rules all right well the the fray i don't want to like jinx it as we get closer to LA but so far it actually has been behaving itself frame frame rate wise so that is good I'm pleasantly surprised with how everything's working right now fundamentally did the G1000 the buttonology of the G1000 is not handled well compared to X-Plane uh, in this it's just really sluggish and really um, the click region feels like it's really small, so it's really easy to like slip off of it and twist something else. So that's not great. I'm not super stoked about that, but it seems to work okay. We didn't really test uh, waypoints or anything, uh, so we'll have to try that at some point. I'm not really that interested in doing that right now. I'm more, more interested in, in just flying the plane, honestly, and just feeling how the plane feels. Uh, with the integration uh, of the GPS just kind of as I would normally like I, I honestly would not if I was flying a G1000 I would not um, I would not input this flight plan into the G1000 ever to do this flight so um, that's fine um, <laughs> yeah I know I know EV well I'm not in it I'm not in it yet but that is that is one of the um, well, that's actually the reason why we um, don't take this transition in the Bonanza because you're giving up a lot of uh, the performance. So we'll we'll slow down once we're once we're in it. 
We got him. They so freaking don't care, it's not even funny. I think there was like a PC-12 ripping through here a couple weeks ago. Like, they just, they don't. They really don't care. We'll play nicely and slow it down a little bit. And also, my altitude is not great. So let's see if this will work. Hold my Red Bull boys, we're going full rip. <laughs> <laughs> we are definitely going full rip. Full ripy. Vertical speed. Alright, let's see if this will capture. Special flight rules traffic, Bonanza 204 Lima Echo over 405 Hawthorne Interchange, 4500 northbound special flight rules. Alright, is this going to capture... <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, Arnold, Arnold knows. Yeah, they they rip through there like all the time. It's it's kind of funny. Doesn't mean that we can't do it correctly, but if we're uh, if we're being honest, worse things have happened. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As long as you don't announce your clear. Oh, that, that looks so good. That looks so good, man. Need a better shot than that. That's awesome. That is so cool. All right, we'll get we'll get another shot once we once we're past it. Um, okay. Special flight rules traffic, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, approaching Imperial Highway, special flight rules. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you got, you got it, Phil. <laughs> uh, I got a splash. Hello. All right, so there is directly over the south complex. Pull up. Next towards Pull up. Uh, the actual VOR. Um, Tortrix Delmon. Hopefully, I didn't butcher that too bad. Welcome. Thank you for following. Special flight rules traffic Bonanza 204 Lima Echo 4500 northbound over the LAX North Complex. Special flight rules. Alright. Let's get a. We need a photo op here with LAX. With pretty LAX. Oh, that looks cool. That's great right there. Yeah, that's the shot right there. I like that. Right? That's good. That's nicely framed, I think. Maybe a little bit over. Maybe this side. Look, how's this side look? Is this our, is this our good side? I'm not liking that either. Let's go. How about... kind of cool. Alright. Special flight rules traffic. Bonanza 204 Lima Echo 4500 northbound over Bologna Creek. Special flight rules. Yeah, it is It is nice. It seems like the performance has increased. It, it does actually seem like things are running a little bit uh, a little bit smoother. There's downtown LA. Nice little globby downtown LA over there. Uh, Santa Monica is going to be off our left wing here. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, I actually heard that uh, England was supposed to be in February, so who knows if that's the next one or not, but um, yeah. Special Flight Rules Traffic, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, approaching Santa Monica, departing to the northwest. Last call, Special Flight Rules. Pokemon Go. Yeah, there's there's probably a lot of Pokemon out there. God, look, that looks really bad from back here, but zoomed out, that looks freaking awesome. I mean, this is just exactly what it looks like. It's so freaking crazy. Oh man, it's so crazy. So. Six two three three go. Three three go. 
Uh, when you get a chance, uh, next one, Hawthorne RNF 25. Oh, right, check, check this out. Thanks. This is just without even looking at the at the track there. That's a good vector. I didn't even I didn't even look. I like that a lot. I like when that happens. Two three golf turn left thing zero seven zero eighteen three thousand. Zero seven zero three thousand six two three three golf. SoCal Approach, Bonanza 204 Lima Echo, 4,500 over Pacific Palisades, flight following Camarillo. Four four seven Bonanza two zero four Lima Echo. Two zero four Lima Echo radar contact three and a half west of the Santa Monica VOR in Los Angeles. We'll submit to three zero zero one. Three zero zero one Bonanza four Lima Echo. Dude, it's been so clear out, man. Okay, let's get our let's get our speed back up here. Only thirty six times, Goldie. Well, that's just because you have not been keeping tabs on me that that counter is so low. <laughs> yeah, it's been really it's been really nice, and I'm I'm hoping that Saturday stays really nice too um, all right so here's a little mid mid flight mid leg um, little check-in so hello everybody um, thank you for for hanging out tonight my name is Bill if you are new here um, please join the discord because it's my favorite thing about doing this by far and I want to keep that community growing because it's been so great. Um, but right now, I am uh, checking out the Bonanza community mod, and so far it's been fantastic. And I'm also checking out some locations to fly um, with my wife, Julia, on Saturday. Um, I want to make it across country, ideally, which limits the number of places to go honestly in uh, in socal you'd be surprised especially like john wayne you'd be surprised how few places actually approach. count as a cross country um camarillo is kind of a staple but the restaurant uh, waypoint cafe is going to be takeout only so it's still a possibility because um we have not flown there we've eaten there before but we haven't flown and eaten there um and it's a pretty pretty cool experience to do that um, yeah just for building time for IR and it's not the it's not a huge deal honestly the cross-country time is gonna be pretty easy to come by so we're open to other options but if it can be a cross-country then uh, that'd be kind of fun to to make it a cross-country and, and fly a little bit um, the other option is just hit all the airports I haven't been to yet and just do like a little lap of you know a little touch and go loop of places that I have not landed at yet um, which isn't a whole lot but I think it would be kind of cool and that is actually it's actually not a bad idea um, that's not a bad idea for a stream either yeah I'd have to think about that But yeah, that would be that would be pretty cool. But for right now, we're checking out this mod, which is so far working pretty good, and we're gonna do a little full stop taxi back at Camarillo. Uh, so cross country needs to be 50 miles, point to point, 50 nautical miles, point to point. Climb me to 5,000. Yeah, it's like. They're either, the cool airports are either too close or way too far away. <laughs> um, 
but there are there are so many good options. Right, three six zero vector approach. Vector for the approach six two one. One zero mic connect to Cal approach one three four point two. Uh, twenty point three four point two one zero mic. Uh, Striker, thank you very much for following. Happy Tuesday to you. Approach, Destination Sierra, ATIS is 126.025. Four flight, let's see if this will work. Uh, we'd like vectors for runway 8. 1 Sierra Mike, Roger, expect it then. 3001, arriving and departing runway 26. 1 Sierra Mike. Okay. It does not work. So, um, it's a Piper PA 28, but I also fly a uh, 172. We have Mike. Okay. Check out flight for the Flying Club Friday. That's awesome. Cool, man. Yeah, let me know what you decide. We might uh, we might run into you somewhere. All right, we're probably going to get one more handoff before Camarillo. Just in case we don't, I can put in uh, Camarillo Tower just to have that ready to go. So at least that's ready to go if we need it, but... 24 Lame Echo, connect point Magoo, approach 124.7. 24.7, Bonanza, 4 Lame Echo. 24.7. What's up, Wolf? Dude, you're never late. It's just, it's whenever you arrive. That's, that's it. Point Magoo, approach, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, 4,500, we have information, Mike, at Camarillo. 204, Lima Echo, Point Magoo, approach, Camarillo, altimeter 3001. 3001, 4, Lima Echo. Yep, Low Wing Mafia. Did you see, Tyler, that that, like, the trend, did you go on Instagram and look up Low Wing Mafia? It's hilarious. <laughs> um, so the, the sim performance, um, uh, Klime, is actually been pretty good, uh, surprisingly good. We're gonna turn off the autopilot here. Um, not really like apples to apples, but the last. Um, wait, can I hit the? No, you cannot turn off the autopilot. Um, but from from the last time I was flying around in SoCal, it was really choppy, and it's much better with no hardware updates at all uh, yeah. high wing knows dude I Noel thinks that just because he grew up around caravans um, in South America that he's some kind of Cessna fan but he has seen the light of the low wing and I think it's I think it's now more um, principle than anything that he sticks with his love of low or high wings. Into the Los Angeles There's no Hollywood Park route, maintain 9,500. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been much much better. I overshot. Right turn zero five zero one zero mic. It feels good though, man. Yeah, I did, Arnold. It's I freaking love it. We're gonna we're definitely gonna try to go fly that. Maybe even this weekend, but. I yeah, that thing is really zero cool. Zero five zero, and that should be your right turn, correct? One zero, Mike. Indeed. Three two three, Julia Tango, Joshua, approach Victor, altimeter three zero one five. So are these cow flaps? Three zero one five, three zero one. Dynamic. Yeah, cool. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I just I just like the feel of the way they fly, yeah, the way they approach, uh, the way they able, look. We're um, into Apple I I love it. I love the landing. And that's Julia's favorite too, so I kind of have to, you know, if she likes it, I I gotta <laughs> I gotta pay attention. Five one to your mic here, five miles from Silex, turn right heading one zero zero eighteen four thousand. Yeah, it looks that's really fun, Yeah. Cleared ILS from eight approach. Turn right, heading 100, maintain 4000 until established, cleared ILS runway 8, 10 Mike. 
204 Lima Echo, radar service terminated. Kind of Camarillo Tower, 128.2, Squawk VFR. Squawk and VFR, frequency changed to 282, Bonanza 4 Lima Echo. See ya. Bye, Bill. Bye. VFR. I like the. I do like the VFR button though. That's pretty nice. What are you? What are you yelling at me for? Fuel quantity. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Okay. Forgot about that. Camarillo Tower, Bonanza two zero four Lima Echo. Information. Mike. Full stop. Taxi back. Bonanza two zero four Lima Echo. Camarillo Tower. Make straight in runway two six. Runway two six. Clear to land. Glitch land straight in runway 26, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo. What's up, cool Camaro? Yeah, it, it seems like it was a long break, but I just took the one day off. But it does. It was a long weekend, man. <laughs> well, luckily it's yelling at me, and I, I don't know how low it goes. Oh yeah, we had we had 12 gallons left, so we had another hour left on that. Well, maybe not another hour, but, you know, 40 minutes or so. Okay, how are we looking on speed? 162 downhill. Could do a little bit better than that. There we go. There's 172. That's what we want. That's better. 176 on a three mile final. Let's go, let's get mixture full rich. Let's get that coming out. Props full forward. Gear coming down. Burbank Tower, Baron 2510. Two mile final, runway trim, 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 trim. Baron 251 Sierra Mike, Burbank Tower, runway 8, clear to land, wind 350 at 4. Runway 8, more, clear to land. More trim than that. This is such a big uh, displaced threshold. Let's see, let's do. Let's see if we can get that view. 500. All right. We came in hot, so I didn't really like step down the power. So we'll keep it in there. There's about 15. I mean, already, I don't want to jinx it until we've touched down, but already this feels way better. Down to 12. Yeah, this is Camarillo. Down to 12. Still trimming this whole time. There's idle. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, it's 760 T9 for out of Denver. Um, God, this is way better. Jeez, man. That felt like the actual plane. United 716, Vegas clearance, I'm request number. <laughs> I don't know about, I don't know about greasing it, but it was, that was like a normal, like a normal landing. <laughs> Like a real a real world greaser, not a not a sim greaser, but thank you. Okay. Yeah, that dude, that felt really good. That felt really good. Uh, okay, I think we're down at Charlie, right? Uh, or maybe not. Did, we, did I have? Did I go all the way to Delta? Oh no, we got off at Charlie. Sweet. Okay, that was a good landing then. Hell yeah! Right on the thousand footers. Camarillo Tower, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, clear uh, 26 at Charlie Wolf, full stop. Uh, we're taxiing back for departure. 
Benin 204, Lee Michael Roger, continue on. Charlie, make a left on Fox, actually make a left on Hotel, and then Alpha to runway 26. Monitor this frequency, advise when you're ready, and uh, what your intentions are. Charlie Hotel and Alpha will uh, take a minute in the run up and then let you know when we're ready. Bonanza 204 Lima Echo. Bonanza 4 Lima Echo, Roger. Remain this frequency. And we'll stay with you for Lima Echo. United 716, clear to death. Cool, okay. Um, departure to Nickel. That to is really, really like cool. Well, that gave me like chills, Arada. man. Um, Climb via six. First solo this weekend? Six, Cultivator, one, nice, man. Four, zero. Being nervous is good. Having, having some healthy nerves is, is good. I kind of want to pull up. Arrival. Um, <laughs> I want to pull United up 16, back, the landing, my first, like, all me landing in this thing, and just kind of remember what was being said, because it felt exactly right. Uh, after my eight weeks off and all the sim time, my landings got much softer. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's good to be nervous for your solo. You're you're ready. That's one thing is that when you're when you're when you're clear to solo when you're and it's a it's a trust thing with your CFI, but when you're cleared to do that, it's because you're ready. And you know, like like they said as soon as you pull back on the yoke and get airborne, you will forget everything. <laughs> Well, I'm really happy about that that landing. Um, partially, like I, how I landed it, like staying on the trim, the power settings. Once I got slow enough for, to actually manage the power in a correct way, um, but more importantly, frankly, is how the plane felt, and that was as realistic a depiction of how this plane flies um, as I think you could ever really want in this I don't I don't know um, yeah that was super cool so we're gonna go into the run up here uh, 251 Sierra Mike taxi are you going straight ahead yes sir straight into the ramp one Sierra Mike Speaking of solos, I remember being right here, right on this spot, this uh, on my cross-country solo. Um, I had 12 hours total and flew to Camarillo with 12 hours on my solo, cross-country solo, and was number nine, I think, for departure. Um... And one of the planes I was behind was a uh, Mustang, was a P-51. So that was cool. <laughs> just like being being lined up and just thinking to myself like, holy crap, uh, what this, if this is aviation, this is gonna be the best thing ever. <laughs> All right, so there. Get that in there. Yeah, the, the P51 was was really cool. Ooh, that's really bright. Uh, let's do. So I'm gonna pull up the footage of me landing that plane, um, for real. And so like coming down, like being on the trim, um, was awesome. A36, come on. Here we go. Um, the speeds were perfect. The trim was felt like it was Run good, and, and we're not. You don't have any um, any feedback really from the plane itself, so it's a little bit hard to um, you know gauge how the trim felt. But this is uh, this is taking off in the bonanza, so. I'll play just just because it's cool. It's a cool shot. The departure here, um, the 360 camera died uh, before we got back to John Wayne, so the landing is not. We don't have external, but just to hear what Brad says about how to land it and how it felt. So here is the uh, departure. 
we'll like roll a Yep, couple. that's fine. Power up to 1500. Okay, and then leave the mixture. Once you're at 15, full rich mixture. Full rich. Power roll it all the way up. All the way up. Yep, roll, 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 roll. You've got good pressures. Yeah. Go keep it going, keep it going, all the way to stop. Here comes, okay. here comes the power, breaks off. Breaks off. Okay, we are rolling. Okay, you got a little pressure. Okay, pressures look good. Fuels look good. Are good. Speed's Air, alive. Air speed is alive. Keep it on that center line. Good job. Keep it going. Keep it going. You should start to feel it getting There's light 70. now. 70, yeah. Feel it getting light. Feel it getting light. A little yep. bit more back pressure. Beautiful. Positive rate brakes, gear, lights. Gear coming up. Lights. Outside two. There you go. Push the nose down. Push the nose down. You can't see shit, right? Push the nose down. Yeah. Warning. There you Terrain. go. Terrain's inside Terrain. power. Terrain. Slowly Terrain. roll it back Terrain. to 26. Terrain. You'll hear Terrain. it before Terrain. you see it. Warning. Terrain. Two, seven. Terrain. Two, six. Keep it on. Keep it on. Down to 26. There you go. Hear it now? Yeah. There you go. Crossway 26. Perfect. Right. Keep it going. Pitch At down. Papa. Use some nose forward trim. And then hold Terrain. short. This airplane is oh, yeah. very yeah. trim heavy. Fly with the trim. That's right. I forgot the electric is good on this one. Yep. It's required on this airplane. Cruise a runway 26 right. Oh, there you go. Nice job. Runway yeah, that was uh, Keep it straight out to 2,000 feet. 5, 7, Charlie. Push side traffic. 9072 Sierra's mile uh, upwind off of 2, 5 will be departing. What's up, Grizzly? Okay, so now we're going to come into land. So again, this is going to be very boring because it's all uh, cockpit. You need more trim, right? Always trim it. Hey, you actually need more nose down than that. Would you say off? Uh, as soon as you let go of the push to talk, lights are coming on. Oh, oh. Now, level at 1,000 feet, trim, 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 nose up. You're going to trim some Oh, he was asking if I heard the RPMs yeah. of the engine come down. Perfect. Once you're below yeah. 150, throw the gear. Okay, speed checks. Here comes Here the brakes. Oh, wow. Yeah, There's that's the anchor. Nose, nose, nose. Nose trim, trim. And three turn green. Base. Turn it base. Keep that trim. Keep that trim. Keep that trim. Keep that trim. Power now to 12 inches. Down to 12. Well, that's a... Not a ton to change, but keep trimming. Yeah. Keep trimming nose up. Keep trimming nose up. Roll it out. Trim, 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 trim. Clear right. Flaps coming at any point? I'll get there. Okay. Trip, 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 trip. Flaps full. Flaps full. Out and down. Trip, 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 Cherokee 5, 7, Charlie, Crossway 2, 1, at Papa, left Delta, taxi, parking, Lobo Lobo. on the ground. Have a great night. Lobo Lobo. Lobo. Yeah, this is the the Lobo. original. Lobo. Lobo. Uh, run and one flare. Let it come down, uh, let it come down, let it come down. Pull, 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 pull. Let it come down, let it come down. Beautiful. Traffic not Bricks. available. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Easy. Oh, Easy yeah. on the brakes. Okay. It's still flying, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, those are, those are touchy. Easy on the brakes. Uh, <laughs> full stop. Uh, <laughs> full stop. <laughs> full stop. <laughs> But you know what? I'll 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 explain it here in a second. So nine zero seven two zero. Okay. Um. So the what makes? I mean, Brad. Brad just knows what's what to do. Brad is awesome. Uh, Jared, thank you so much for. Um, for following, welcome aboard. Uh, <laughs> passenger window, yeah. Well, you just pop the door, man, in your Piper. Um, so the the thing that is weird for me, um, you know, being fresh off of my my private in that plane, um, that is different from the plane that I, you know, the planes that I fly. And that call you a lot of that a lot of you um, might fly as well, and that's you know fixed pitch, 180 horsepower trainers primarily. And there is an obvious relationship between your throttle setting, your power setting, and 
um, how the plane flies and acts. So in a, in a 172, um, you know, a beam the numbers at pattern altitude, you could pull a power and you could glide all the way down no problem. And trimming helps, um, you know, helps keep the right pitch attitude, helps you not get too fast, helps you not, you know, I mean, you can, you can trim it nicely and the plane will be much easier to fly. Um, but if you don't trim, you can still fly a 172 without the trim. It's going to be harder. It's going to fight you. It's probably not going to be that pretty, but you can at least do it. The Bonanza does not feel like you could without the trim. So when you're, when you're coming into land, and this is what landing in this plane in the simulator really felt really good is you are you're fixing your manifold pressure at a certain power setting and it's almost like you're using the trim to slow the plane down um, it's very weird when you are doing it for the first time which is why brad kept singing to me trim because he knows that i am not in the i'm not in the mindset of like basically laying on the elevator trim all the way down you you want to i mean you're basically on the trim through you know through your base turn to final all the way down to the to short final you're on on the trim so when you have the um yeah, it's electrical. Yeah, I mean it does have a wheel, but it is electrical on the yoke, and you can you can see it. Uh, you can see it here. The electric trim is just right, is right there on the yoke. Um, so when you're when you're coming down at that at that fixed manifold pressure setting, um, your your the plane is at a certain angle of attack that it's not really slowing down. Because you're you can, you're uh, descending, you're at a fixed uh, power back. setting, so it's Run not two, going six, to right, right slow down. But as you pitch, as you delta, trim it, it's going to start to to keep the angle of attack up a little a, bit, uh, pitch the nose up, there, and you can the hear left. the plane actually start to slow down. You're not actually the pulling the power, right, the but kilo. the the nose coming up uh, increases the angle of attack, which adds drag to the plane, which starts to slow it down. You know the the prop is is left alone. The power is left where it's at, and you just keep on bringing the trim back. Keep on bringing the trim back, and you can hear it. That's when I said, "Oh, you can feel it," because I could, like at that point when you're, you know, two three hundred feet on on final, it feels like without touching the power, you've got too much of it, um, until you start to feel that trim come in, and then the power starts to come back to the point where you're like. Okay, it's at 85, 80, 78, 75, and then then once you're at that like 75, you start to pull off um, the power a little bit, and then you know then you're just writing writing it out. Uh, a train will work like that too, but the speeds are just aren't as extreme, so it doesn't matter nor near as much. Yeah, and that's kind of what I meant at Don. It's like you can do it in a in a trainer, or you cannot do it and still get away with it. The, the principle is still there, it's just you're going faster, the plane is bigger, heavier, and you really need it in order to get the plane uh, nicely on the ground. So yeah, you it works in the same manner in a trainer, but it's way more forgiving so you can kind of like, you can kind of manhandle it honestly. Um, until you run out, I mean unless it's like way out of trim and then you're like running out of uh, elevator authority. So. Um, but yeah, it's it's really cool to see that happen, and it was very early after my uh, my private, so it was cool to be able to um, to you know get that um, experience pretty quickly.